the main problem which we are tackling as a part of wiki loan default prediction is about the losses so what business and financial institution have reported that they have incurred significant losses due to the default of vehicle loans so that's the pain point business have and now we need to understand what is the business need so definitely we have understood about the pain but exactly what business is looking for what improvement they would like to see the business requires a better credit risk scoring model so that they would be able to enter the below needs so i have documented two such needs the first need which talks about that business is able to ensure that clients capable of repayments are not rejected because that is very critical and this will impact your profit margin because if the credit risk scoring model will will start re rejecting loans for the capable clients then it's not a good thing for business because business will lose money and they will start granting loans to the customer who are not capable of making payment and that ultimately those clients would default right so that's the first need we have the second need we have is to understand the different determinants or factors which would contribute to vehicle loan default with understanding those factors will help business to plan their activities in a way that they can minimize the vehicle loan default okay so that is the second need then we need to understand what outcome we are, we are expecting as a part of the overall project because we need to deliver something to business right so the ultimate goal of this project is to tightening up the vehicle loan underwriting process to reduce the vehicle loan rejection rate for the capable candidate so that's the outcome we are expecting and in order to achieve that outcome we need integrate our machine learning model very easily with the existing business process because this would not be achieved until we would be able to integrate our machine learning model with the existing loan process right so whatever process would be granting loan to different customers we need to integrate our credit improved credit risk scoring model so that they can make decisions whether we need to grant loan to that customer or not so that's the outcome we are expecting so the main question comes what sort of data we have so we need to find out relevant data to build a better credit risk scoring model because everything in machine learning revolves around the data and after doing lots of research and analysis and talking with different business counterparts we have decided that or we have concluded that probably these initial set of data would be helpful to start building machine learning model for credit scoring and these data falls under three different categories so the first is loanee information so which talks about the different aspects of that loanee so which could be age income identity proof and, and we have lots of details around the loanee so that that's the first aspects the second aspect would be the loan information so what sort sort of loan we have issued to customers right so what was the emi what was the source of income what amount has been disbursed right so what was the loan to value ratio so all those sort of information we have gathered and the third information which we have gathered is around the credit bureau because that will also provide a very good indication of that 
customer credit worthiness right so that's what we have gathered as a part of third set of information and using these informations we need to build a credit risk scoring model so that we, we would be able to meet the desired outcome so once we have data once we have understood the business problem needs we need to frame that problem into machine learning space as you can see that this is a clear binary classification problem because here we are looking to classify any client as default or non-default in which category my client would fall and that's why we would map this problem as a binary classification problem and we would be predicting the probability score of that client and business can take decisions based on their risk appetite at which probability score they would like to issue any loan to customer or client so that's that's from the machine learning problem space and the evaluation matrix which we would be using is area under the roc curve right so that will provide a good indication about how robust my model is in terms of classifying any any loan as default or non-default. 